Listen, go from this one, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on, you're almost there. Yeah. Whew. Listen, why are you so much better at this? Hello everyone, Jay Spooks here, and welcome back to Fears to Fathom. This is the new episode, number five, Woodbury Getaway. So I am very excited. I'm going to try to keep my coughing to myself because I am just getting over a head cold, and this game does require you to have moments of quietness. So it'll be nerve-wracking. Let's just get into it, shall we? Episode 5, Woodbury Getaway, December 8th, so we're traveling during the holidays. Need to get coffee to get done with the day. I am not where I thought I was going to start. Space to get up, okay. Why am I in an office alone? This does not scream Woodbury getaway to me. Cannot run. Cannot do anything. I need coffee. 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 No coffee. Vending machine. Oh, there we go. Coffee. Let's get some coffee in us. <laughs> Needed water. Of course it does. Ah, uh, here's a good time to tell you. I hate Keurigs. I hate them with a passion. I think they are very wasteful, and I would rather just grind my coffee myself. Because no matter what you have with a Keurig, it always tastes very watery, very just weak. So, I mean, for an office setting, I feel like it's probably a better option. Can I put creamer in it or something? Did I get a coffee? Um, but it just, yeah, I just think they're very wasteful. So that's my fun fact for the day. All right, let's go back and no, let's not. Let's use the restroom. Did something just fly by the window? Restroom. Oh, yep, there we go. I like that I had to, I have to go to the bathroom, but I'm also drinking coffee while doing it. Well, I'm done, uh, throw. Look at that. Look at that. Right there. Right on the edge of the basket. That's bad. Hold on. Boop. Nope. Boop. Better. Heck yeah. We didn't put anything. We didn't litter. I'm going to close this behind me. No? Uh, am I a woman today? I am a woman. Nice. All right. Well, let's do our do. Let's do our business. <coughs> oh, there's a little bar. <clears throat> Very similar to the... Uh... Hello? Hello? Hello, random guy. Ma'am, sorry, didn't know anyone was in here. Uh, did we, it's, uh, I'm so sorry, should have knocked before I came in, but there isn't usually anyone alone in here this late. N no, it's not you, it's me. You're just doing your job. I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Must have slipped my mind. Why are you frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor. <coughs> <coughs> and it's been happening for weeks. Well, that's rude as heck. Need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Well, you have a great night. I'm going to work on having a great night myself, actually, now. <sighs> this is a dingy dingy restroom for an office building this big. I'm just saying. Like, 
like dingy. Like stuff is just everywhere. What? Oh. But yeah, the uh, the bar, the meter uh, for bathroom breaks is similar to that in Abiotic Factor, and it's really funny. Hello? Hey, Hello? Morning, Mike? Mike? I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is uh... Right? My phone's just been acting oh, up, probably. Snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> Uh, no, it even cut out on a client I'm earlier, Mike. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Work has been overwhelming? Damn, Art, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. And Nora, afterthought? No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Okay. Hey. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Sure, sounds good. Sure, sounds good. Sounds right. good. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Sure, oh, Mike. Uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Okay. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things <laughs> haven't been going very well for her. Okay. Doing just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. Right. I right. should make the booking now. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. All right. Yeah. Talk to you later, Harp. Sure, Mike. Let's see. What was I doing? Spreadsheets. That sounds horrible. What is Type Invader? Oh, wait, what, what? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this. What the heck? No! No! Oh, I have to spell it. What is this game? Oh, I'm not good. Actually, I'm not that bad. It's going to get worse, though. This is actually kind of fun. Flow? Uh. Uh. I kind of like this game. What the heck? What the heck? Duck Planet. I kind of like this. This is actually kind of fun. I kind of want to play this in real life. A little bit. I'm not going to lie. Die. Agree. Oh, whoopsies. <laughs> well, I guess... I guess realistically that was that was good. I probably shouldn't have good been playing that game. <laughs> that was actually kind of fun. Uh, I need to d look up rentals. Rental. What am I looking up? Oh, apparently it just fills in the words for you. So just da 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 da. Rentacabin.com. Very real. Where am I going? I am going to apparently Woodbury. Well, this is too expensive. I don't like that. That's some cabin in the woods stuff. This one's cute. I know. Nah. Oh, yeah. $100. Uh. Well, I only have one option. And it is. 
It is this one. Okay. Well, this is where we're going. And rent. Book. Yes. Cool. I did it. I did a thing. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. Okay. Here's the story. I was. That's why I didn't know what I was doing. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it's written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in the city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace, like most jobs, honestly. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. And Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. I was apparently heading out. I'm ready to go. Why are you so creepy? Also, you're playing the game without looking. Your fingers are moving, but you're not looking. Press escape to read messages. Pulling into the parking garage now, you downstairs. Okay, so I got a lockbox code. 5176. Uh, escape again. Alright, well, got my bag. I'm ready. Um. Is this... Is this my ride? This is my ride. Hello, Mike. Mike, take my bags. Take it. Take it. Mike. It's a gentlemanly thing to do. Yeah? That's still how you hug people. Why don't you hug me like you missed me? Okay, we can long hug. Like five extra seconds longer. Uh, you look good. So do you. You look great. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Sure thing, Mike. You could have done this for me. You could have done that. Look at that. Look at how easy it is. You just so you pick it up and you go boop. And then like you put it in the back and it's like boop. <laughs> Man, chivalry is dead. Shoot. <laughs> shoot, shoot, shoot. Get in there. Try that again. All right, then. Are you ready to hit the road? Let's do this. Hopefully my bag doesn't fly out of your truck. Because it's definitely tied down safely. There's definitely safety in this truck bed. Four twenty six and it is snowing. It was starting to snow. Actually really pretty. Yes, Mike? Isn't it weird we used to dream about escaping our college and now here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. I think that's actually a lot of kids these days. Uh, and realistically, adults. Like, I would love to go back to being like four. When mom and dad took care of me. Yeah. Like, no responsibilities, no bills. Just, you lived your life and you were just happy. <laughs> I don't know, I just think it sounds nice sometimes. Uh, we couldn't wait to get into the real world. Funny how that works. Well, yeah, because you're always rushing to start and then you get here and you're like, oh, God dang, it, I really wish I had just enjoyed the freedom a little bit more until uh, until the fun stuff started, I guess. The fun part of life, the bills. Uh, I'll get that in a second. Funny how that works, I guess. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Well, how is your job going? Working on a project that uses machine learning to predict market trends.
Uh, did you see the school bus? There was a school bus. Someone's idea of turning into a tiny home or on wheels or something. Um, I mean, it was important. My character had to look at it. 5 p.m. I haven't received a confirmation text from you. We're on our way about 6. The, slow, the snow slowed us down a little bit. Hello! There's too much going on. What the heck? Um, came out of nowhere. You know, I read on the internet that a Native American lore seems you're seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. There's too much going on. Uh, confirm when you check in and travel safe. Okay, I'm just gonna... Stare straight ahead, because there's a lot going on. Apparently. We're just driving along. Are we almost there, Mike? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. Why? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. Yeah? It's kind of beautiful. Yeah? Why is the small talk between me and this guy so awkward? Like, it's just so awkward. Like, it doesn't have to be. You've been friends for this long, apparently. It doesn't have to be awkward. Try not to cough. Oh. The Dairy Mart? Yay. Harp, check that out. What am I checking out? Pizza? Pizza? Oh, pizza sounds so good. Cheese and veggies and cheese. Hot, steaming, ready to go. It does sound really good. I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizza, Rhea, is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm hungry. I could eat a whole pizza. Yeah, me too, apparently. All right, then. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go, so prepare to land. I'm not fun. This guy's trying to make it fun, and I'm just like, get out of the car. <laughs> like, <laughs> bye. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, Mike, you're such a gentleman. This just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Residents are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this time. Mike, the snowstorm is coming in. It's coming in hot tonight. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat. Yes, I bet I do. Get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. Uh, I definitely want margarita, a veggie, and a cheese. Just the pizza for today, thanks. Alright then, six hot slices coming right up. That'll be $22.50. It just straight wants me to pay? Oh, snap. Ah, oh, dang it. Freaking men. <laughs> what the heck? Didn't put my bag in the back of the truck bed? Made me pay for the pizza? I'm telling you. Our number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you right up when your pizza is ready. It's a slice of pizza. It's right there. See it? It's right there. Actually, the kind of look good, considering it's just a game. I'm really weird about pizza. I don't like... Let me, let me start over. I love, like, a fully loaded pizza. Thin crust, fully loaded. I want to be able to file, like, like, fold it, like, New York style. Lots of cheese, veggies. I don't really care for much meat on my pizza. And if I do... I want it, like, mixed in with a lot of veggies. Like, I like veggie galore. So, cheese, solid pizza. I don't care what anyone says. It's a solid pizza. Uh, let me think. Garlic and tomato's good. I like a garlic and tomato pizza. 
Supreme's usually my go-to. Don't really care for like the sausage and stuff, but it's fine. But I get picked on a lot because I like veggie pizzas. I like my fully loaded veggie pizza. Olives, doesn't matter. I do like Hawaiian pizza. Very weird, I know. With the pineapple and stuff, I do like like Hawaiian pizza. I will eat it. But I prefer like veggie. I like my veggie pizza. We're just gonna sit over here forever? We are. We're just gonna sit over here and talk about pizza. Nora! Uh, there's too much going on. Stop. I gotta read her text messages, apparently. Did I ever get a message from him? Uh, let me, come on. Oh my god, there's so many text messages. Uh, Taylor and Baxter. Oh my god, we have the, the, the normal drama. Baxter got her pregnant. Now they're planning a Star Wars themed baby shower. Oh, that's funny. I can just see it now. A birth announcement that says the force is strong with this one. Did they tie the knot? Tell me they didn't get married. Is this a back and forth between all of us or just me and the girl? <laughs> All you need is love. So happy for them. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, he's involved. He's right there. We're zombies at this point. I miss the city. My social life is officially dead. Syracuse just doesn't hit the same. Can't believe it's been a year since the last time we saw each other. Uh. How about we find a rental house in the winter? And relax, college days, moving on, get away, sounds like a lot of work. This girl is all about work, apparently. Think about it, Harpy, a weekend away from the stress, no work, no details. Deadlines, I mean. A girl's trip, but with Mike. You guys say it like it's a bad thing. Thinking it over, more I like the idea. Better be wine. There's just like, it's just so much regular back and forth. Booking the cabin. All right, on, hold on, hold on. We're down to a video or a, a audio message. Here's the thing, guys. I'm on a tight budget. Like, I'm eating ramen noodles for every meal, kind of tight. Not to mention, I really need to put a new set of tires on the car. If we could find something in the ballpark of $100 per night, I think I can still make it work. I don't know. Let me know if that's okay with you. I hope I get to see you both soon. Alright, I got you cheap and cozy. Makes me sound with cheap. Uh, we're on the road and she sent us another audio message. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute... Oops. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. <coughs> Oh my god, there's so many messages between us three. Okay, we're just gonna... We're just... I, pff, whoop, nope, nope, nope. There we go. Oh god, there's so many. There are so many uh, messages. Let's just put those back. Alright, and we can hear people eating around us. Yeah, I just saw it. I just saw the message. That's a bummer. Guess I'll have to start the fun without her. Well, what can we do, Mike? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Okay. We're just gonna avoid that and get pizza. 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 
sit down and eat pizza. Well, yeah, I already paid. Hmm. Cheese first or veggie? Hmm. Realistically, this pizza slaps. Yeah, I can't believe she's missing out on this pizza. Honestly, it wouldn't matter which one you start with. Like, it's just pizza. So I'm just gonna eat from all three at the same time. Like a weird person. Typically, I usually, like, rip the, the crust off first. Because I will eat... You actually eat the crust? Yes! Fair enough, but eat some someone else's tires. We've still got a bit of a driving to do. Random guy. Hello? Saw y'all pull in driving that nice old truck. Yeah. But I was heading down the road myself. Okay. We might have been going the same direction. Uh, where are you headed? I'm a bit of an adventurer, just hiking the trails and seeing the country. Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? It, it's not my car. Just a little bit of room for me, right in the middle. I'll ride in the bed. I mean, realistically, it's just not my car. Like, it's not my decision. I don't want to be in the car with somebody going down the road. I know there's a mill seat. He's scared of me or something. Ah. Uh, no. Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Okay. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired. Sure. Whew. Yeah, that was definitely weird. He didn't even order anything. I, I do actually feel bad because he's out in the winter hiking. Hiking down the road. Alright, let me finish my pizza after such a strange encounter left a wonderful taste in my mouth. There's something about this game. It's been pretty consistent. But the, uh, the animation noises for eating? Yeah, it's, it's not good. Perfect fuel for the last leg of our trip. You got it. Get up. I'm just We're just going to throw these away. Alright, let's go. Ready to hit the road. Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. We got... There's text. It's just like so much going on. Weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? Take a break, Mike. Uh, just give me the keys, man. On condition, what is it? I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Sure. We're ready to go. I have keys. It is, it is snowing pretty good. Oh, you know, I should have actually paid attention where that guy was walking to when he left. Didn't think about it. Didn't think if... I mean, he says he's heading in the same direction we are. But is he? Is he really heading in the same direction we were? I don't know. It's about an hour later. Right? No, about 30 minutes later, actually. Oh, no! Driving sim! Why do these games do this to me? God, kill, just turn that off. I have a thing about these little driving sims. They're hard for me to press buttons well. I have, a, I have a hard time with it. Especially with, like, the tremors that are in my hands now. 
So we're just gonna, we're just gonna definitely not clip that car and keep chugging forward in the snow. And I do drive in the snow. I like the snow, actually. It's just like you just take your time. Don't try to rush it and you're fine. Wood, wood, oh, Woodbury, turn right, turn right. Okay. I wonder what the other way is. Creepy bridge. Creepy guardrail. Creepy car. Just creepy, creepy. But I do. I have a hard time with these driving sims. Actually, this one doesn't feel that bad, and I think it's because I can't go very fast. Like, I'm not flying. Oh, I should probably slow down. Are we here? Uh-oh. Get off the road. Uh, what am I looking for? What did it look like again? Nope. Nope. Not going a ditch. Uh. I am looking for our cabin. I don't know what it looks like, honestly. Nope, that's not a road. Uh oh. Listen, the cop could have moved over. What the heck? Nope. 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 Oop. Eh. Where's the, where are we staying? Where are we staying? Are we down there? Uh oh. I drove past our cabinet first. Oh no. Oh dear. Okay. Well, let's just. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There's a car coming. I'm just gonna sit in this ditch for a second. Let the let the taxi blow through the stop sign. So I drove by it. So is is it this one? Having a hard time here. Sure. I'm gonna go see. We'll go see if it's this one. I think this is this is it. Apparently, we're fine. We're good. Thought you were just gonna keep driving there, but I almost did. I almost just kept driving, so that was a thing. The only thing this guy brought was a cooler. It's a quaint little neighborhood. It starts off looking kind of cute, but it has some creepy vibes to begin with. So what is this? Uh, 5176. Five one, this thing? 5176. Five... One, seven, six, right? Seven, I went way too many. Six. Boop. Heck yeah. Keys. Mike, I have unlocked the door. I am so good at my job. I can just go there. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. Well, that smells nice in here. Right, but I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. Put the groceries away. Should be enough space in the fridge. You got it. Is that what the cooler is? House was cozy and well furnished. That's good. I mean, it is a cozy little cabin. It's cute. Oops. Oh, whoops. Is that an avocado? Had to close the mini fridge before picking it up. Uh, <laughs> bell peppers. Eggies. Lettuce. Uh, I don't know what this is. More milk. And a yogurt. Okay. How do I close this? The RMB to open. Well, how do I close it? There we go. Look at that. Boop. I'm just going to put it back over here, I think. Sorry about that. Are you okay? Long well, driving all that pizza really did a number on me. <laughs> nice. Well, all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that. You got it. This looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just didn't see anymore. It's nice to get away from the city for a bit. Oh, sure. 
Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be right back. Go ahead. I'll start unpacking. Thank you. Thank you, my man. You can take my bag. You just came from here, so I assume? I would assume right. The smell alone told me the pizza had really done a number on him. Yeah. Maybe not, like, the best way to go about travel is to, like, eat at places you've never eaten before. Only because you don't want this to happen on your drive is to get sick. That would, that would really suck. Oh, I forgot to text this guy. Hello, Rick. We have checked in. He is not responding. Oh, well. I can do that. And I can do this. The small realistic details always are enjoyable in these games. Like, just like the smallest thing of like flushing a toilet. Ah, uh, much, much, uh, let's check out the house. Let's see what this place has to offer after you. Alright, we got a TV. Got a little storage room? Bigger than my apartment. Yeah, if you live in the city. Good luck. Bathroom. Kitchen. Outside. Door. Stairs? Okay. Nothing. 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 Why? Why are you in the house? Oh, who are you? Well, uh, we're just we're just friends. Didn't expect anyone to be here. I was out looking for my cat earlier and I remember the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. They say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Yeah. Speaking of that, now that you're here, let me show you around my sweet home. Do we do we have to do that now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. We're just going to leave we're just going to leave that middle-aged man with a nervous energy. We're just we're just going to leave that. From the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. Oh, that's a lot better. <sighs> Just left that running, didn't ya? Um, dude? Yeah? Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. It's very descriptive. The sink doesn't work, unfortunately. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Uh, other bedroom. Oh, okay. Realistically, we don't need you to show us anything. Nice view. Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me. Why? Why? Just why? I mean, yeah, it's, it's a nice deck. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. Well, it's a great spot for fishing, too. Alright, let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. Alright, small man. Why are you here? Yes. Here's a storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. Power goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Thanks. Honestly, you should know where a flashlight is at all times. Let's head downstairs. Why? Why? You don't... You don't... Oh, there it is. You don't have to show us around. You just don't... You don't have to. I'm... We'll explore. On our own. 
on our own time. Why'd you open the fridge? I see you already stocked up on the fridge with some tasty food. Yeah? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter, but the bill gets out of control. I show you the water heater. But way. Oh, where'd he, there he is. But way. Yeah? Are you coming, miss? Yep. Yep, I am. Hmm. Water heater? Not very talkative right now, is he? Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If ever stops working, hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in business. Hmm. Okay. What's the deal with the room? Nothing you two need to concern yourself with. Kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay. Sure. Sure, dude. Whatever you say. Creepy man. Can, can we go? There we go. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from did told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night, said they could hear something shuffling around. Not to scare you, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really s step down here. Why am I staring at your chin? Crazy, creepy laugh. Looks on your faces. Come on now, I'm just joking? At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging at around 6 out of 10. That's fair. Are you coming with- Listen, I was just closing the doors behind you. Gonna hit the road now, gotta find that cat. Well, thanks for showing us around. Bye. What was the name of the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. That's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. That's not creepy at all. Is it just me or that dude's super weird? Very weird. Let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Well, no, I'll be right back. Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Well, I will see you in a bit, Mike. I, can I use this one? Oh, oh, I have to go upstairs. My bad. My bad. I'm going upstairs to the waterfall shower. Where was it? Right over here. I don't know if this would really make me feel like I was showering in the rainforest, but I guess there's weirder things. There we go. Okay, I did a thing. I took a shower. I am squeaky clean. And probably warm, because if it's that cold outside, why do you have a fishing pole? Found this fishing rod in that shed? Are you catching dinner? Now that you've mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. Sure, let's go out in the freezing cold and catch fish. Heck yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. Sure, let's go fishing, Mike. Whatever you want to do, Mike. You know, he just said the heating bill was pretty high, Mike. You should close the door. 
Looks like there's an attic. I really need to go grab the flashlight because some of these spots are really dark. Grab the other fishing rod. Yeah. Right here. Okay, ready. I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp, though, so you're up for the challenge. Sure. First things first, we need the right bait for the carp. Check out the bait information board. Ah, uh, just let me grab the bait, dude. Um, carp. 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 So sweet corn. Ugh, maggot bait. Or cheese. Cheese or corn. Okay. Cheese or corn. I want cheese. Alright. I'm ready. Yeah, army. <coughs> I'm ready, dude. Let's go. Let's go catch some carp. Let me take a drink because my throat is not happy with me right now. I do have cheese as bait on my on my hook. I hope those carp are biting today. Me too, because it's cold out here. So I sit LNB to cast, okay? Too far, too far, too far. There we go. How do I fish, though? Oh, just LNB? No! 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 Not good at this, not good at this at all. I got it! Darn it! Throw it back. Bait and toss. Alright, we are now playing fishing simulator. That's starting off very relaxing. He is not catching anything. Look at that. Look at his empty freaking pole. Oh, got another one. Oh. Ah, oh, darn it. Nope, throw it back. It did say they like cheese. I feel like this game is luring me into a false sense of security with fishing simulator, cooking, apparently. And just like the nice, nice soundtrack. I like, guess just like, it's like, oh, don't worry. It'll get bad at some point. Gotcha. A goldfish? No? What the heck? I should have grabbed the corn. I'm pretty sure I said cheese delight was a, a, a thing. Was a bait. I might have to go get new bait. Fishing simulator has taught me now that I might need new bait. Finally! Carp! Yes! Whenever there's one carp, there's always more. So, throw it in the same spot then? I assume. Such a, just a nice soundtrack. Really is. Not very good at fishing simulator. Yeah, got one more. One more. We need one more. Just one more left. You got this. Yeah, someone's got to do it because you haven't freaking caught anything. Not helpful at all, dude. Please be another carp. Ooh, this one was easy. Heck yeah! I have provided for us. No, let's go make dinner. We don't need to. We don't need to stay out here. It's cold. I just took a shower. My hair is wet. It's freezing outside. The nice music is fading away into some creepy music. There it goes. 
And just like that, we are in creepy music time. Okay. And get rid of all that stuff. What the heck? Let me get the door for you, Mike. Come right on in, Mike. Just walk through the door, Mike. Like it. Like I didn't get the door for you. Did you leave the door open? What the heck, you freaking scrub? While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind preparing the marinade? What what what's the marinade? Uh, throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. Sure, I well, I guess I might as well. Bowl, but bowl, okay, bowl. Uh, pepper, salt. And everything's on the counter except for I think the yogurt's gonna be in the fridge, right? Yogurt, yogurt, and olive oil. Yogurt. Yogurt? Yogurt. Olive oil, olive oil, olive oil. There we are. There we go. Mike, I have made you a marinade. Mike, what do, what do you want me to do? Throwing the fish and the marinade in the casserole while I chop up the veggies. Sounds easy enough, Mike. I think I can handle that. Apparently we can't fit the third fish. Marinade. Bowl. Mike. Add veggies. I read it needs to go in for 30 minutes at 400. Okay. Plate went somewhere. Button. Button. Alright, Mike, I did it. I am a successful chef. Those carp are going to taste amazing. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. Uh, just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. Uh, sure. So, where would they? They're not these, right? No. No. Next to the living room would be here, but this is the bathroom? Well. Board games? Board games? Board games? No. No. This room? Yes, with a dinosaur. Uh, we get to move snakes and ladders. That's a game in here. Mega rounds. Stack tower. Chess. I'm not playing with the Ouija board. Monopoly? I feel like, let's do, let's do this one. Jenga. I like Jenga. Okay, so we're playing Jenga. A.K.A. Tower Stack Mini. Mike! Mike, I picked a game! Tower Stack. Nice choice, Harp. It's been ages since I played this. Totally. It's been a long time for me, too. Well, let's see how steady those hands are. Mine? Not. Harps? Maybe? Okay. Her, hopefully her hands are a lot better than mine. Uh, yeah, whenever I'm ready. Oh. I need to lean left and right. Oh, so I get to pick one. Okay. Oh, draw the loop. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, maybe I shouldn't go so fast because I'm not good with steady hands. Who did it? You're making this game look effortless. Good luck, Mike. Alright, I want to win. So I need to take, like, every, like, fancy one to make this hard on him. Uh. Uh. Oh. Oh, the star again. Hold on. I want to win. So I have to make this hard on him. Ooh, ooh, ah! 
coloring inside the lines. Oh, come on. What the heck? My finger just twitched while I was on the mouse button. And I am pretty sure I almost just, like, woofed it. Like, completely woofed it. Oh, smooth as butter. Yeah. Oh, come on. Why are you so good at this game? Listen. Go from this one, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, you're almost there. Yeah. Whew. Listen, why are you so much better at this? What the heck? I gotta take structural things. If I don't take structural things, there's gonna be no way I can win because he's just like good at this one. Why are you good at this game? There we go. Do I practice this in my free time? No! I should. I actually like giant Jenga. I like the really big towers. I think giant Jenga is a lot more fun than, than regular Jenga. I've also played, like, actual mini Jenga, like, very, very mini Jenga. That's not too bad, but the, the little, um, the little, I don't know, pieces of wood at that point are so small. Heck yeah, I freaking won. But they're so small that it's almost not fun because, like, they're so light. It's very easy to just knock it over just by breathing on it. Didn't expect it to fall like that. Are you ready for another round? I, I think we're good. I think we're okay. I think it's time to see if dinner's done. Thank you, Mike. You're so sweet. Carp should be just about done. Let's grab some plates. I'm starving. And we're back into mildly creepy sound effects. We're just... He just bear pawed that whole thing right out of the oven. And set it on the countertop without anything underneath it. Sure. We can watch TV while we eat. It's a beautiful winter day. The snow is flying. It's cold outside, but it's warm in here. Welcome back to Cooking with Jeffrey. Do we I'm have Jeffrey. to watch this? And today we will be cooking... Asparagus Eat. chocolate cake with a spoonful of mayonnaise. This delicacy is very popular. Eat, eat quicker. Romania, eat quicker. Mayonnaise flows down the rivers like a mayonnaise yeah, you can eat quicker water. than that. Come on, pound, pound the food. So first, we are going to prepare the asparagus. Season these with a lot. Okay, okay, I'm done. Salt is good for the bone. That was some good fine food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. It was very good. Make a great team, Harp. Anyways. I need to check my emails. Let my left my laptop upstairs. Thought we were taking a break from work. I'm just waiting on a shipment detail for my new DS. Okay. Alright, I'll just clean up then if you're gonna do that. In a pan with Irish tofu. I'm oh not gonna God. lie. Jesus, that is like so gross. It's so gross sounding. Dishes? Dishes. Just uh forego those fish bones. They're fine. What? I just heard a door. It, okay, you're upstairs. I don't think I need that. I think there's someone under my bed. 
Can you cut what? Can can I get a knife? A spatula? I have been okay. I just yeah. I'm on my way. I can hurt them with a cooler. What room did you pick? Not that. What? Walk slow? Okay. I'm doing my best here. Uh, Mike? You picked this room? Mike? <laughs> that was a little late. That was a delayed uh, throwing of a cooler. Don't mess them up. Yeah, you're lucky. Oh, Jesus. That's not cool. That was not cool at all. You want to go for the next round? Next, next round. How about a game of hide and seek? Okay, I. Uh, we can do this. Alright, you're on. I'll count to ten. It, oh, okay. I, I decided to hide in the basement? Out of all the places you could go, you wanted to go to the basement? To hide? I, realistically, it doesn't. I don't. Oh, come on. I don't think there's actually too many places to hide in this cabin. Oh. There's a nook under the stairs? Oh, I didn't even notice it. Get in there. Alright. Hey, apparently you're a lot better at this than I am. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I'd never find you in the city. Well, maybe you need to look harder. Alright, my, my turn to hide now. Better close your eyes and start counting. Okay. Well, I guess your time begins now. I shall count. One Mississippi. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here I come, bro. I definitely fully counted ten seconds worth. Ten seconds really isn't a lot of time. There's just not a lot of places to hide in the house, though. Ah, oh, shoot. Hmm. So I'd assume, like, where else can you go? Alright, oh, I, you know what? Hold on. I didn't... No, he went upstairs. He went upstairs. He went upstairs. Oh, shoot. Just, I guess we'll double check the shed. And the poles that I just haphazardly threw on the ground that no one cares about, apparently. Definitely not in the kitchen. Not out here. So I know he can't hide in the in the in the storage room here. 
I'm gonna grab this because some of these spots are kind of dark. Can you get under the bed? No. No, can't click on that. Can't click on that. No. Click. Woo! All right. Well, I found you. Think I heard something upstairs? You're going to try... Uh, shame on you. Fool me twice. Yeah. No kidding, Cindy. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No? I swear on my life I heard something. Oh. Okay. So you... What What do you want me to do? Are you going to check it out? Uh, but, but you're taller than me. My broad shoulders are too broad to fit through there, Sydney. What are you hi where are you hiding these broad shoulders? Ouch! I don't think I would fit. Use that step stool behind you and climb up. There is no step stool behind me. There is there is no step oh well. There is a step stool behind me. Hold on. Oh. Oh, that's a sound thing. Okay, we will remember that for later. Yay, spooky attic! Oh, I can see everything. Mm. Listen here, you. Aw, I have a friend. Well, that's definitely, um, a lot better to find than what I was thinking I was going to find. There we go. Keep that on. Mike. Mike. Oh, there you are. Hey. What's up there? It was... Oh, no, I'm not that mean. I won't call him that. It was just a cat. That's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she's just hungry. Maybe. We can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. I, 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 okay, we're just going right into it. Decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. I think that, like, ding, ding, is the count, maybe? Alright, tool shed. Turn that off. Now if I crouch, yeah, I got a vantage point. And we wait. Oh, maybe it's not the count then. Must be just like spooky music to set the mood. What if I just ran out and like, haha, -ha, here I am. Here I am, Mike. <laughs> not wait for him to find me, just go out there. I kind of want to do it. Ah. Did it look like he looked at me? Kind of. Nah. Eh. There you are. It took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. Close those pretty eyes now. I... I'm getting really tired, my man. Hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You can find me and we'll go to bed. It, sure. Alright. I'm stuck. I am. There we go. Okay. Oh, you can still kind of see through the through your eyes. Here I come. I'm out. I'm out and about. I'm on my way. Alright, so he was in the closet last time. Uh. What is that noise? 
Is that him? Tick, tick, tick. What? It's not outside. Why am I hearing a ticking sound? I don't think this is very good hide-and-seek etiquette. <laughs> Hello, random guy again. Uh, I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fixed many faucets yourself, young man? Yeah, probably not. I imagine you don't know what tool you need. Is, isn't this kind of late? Like, isn't this just kind of late? No trouble for me at all. I'm right around the block. I told you, I'll get this sink fixed for you real soon. Do, do you think you could do it tomorrow during the daylight hours? Are you asking me to leave? Uh, kind of? She's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. Uh, we don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Uh, Mike, just let me do the talking here. Apparently. There ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. There's cops everywhere. What are you talking about? Think they're gonna arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. Hmm. But why are you back here at, like, midnight? I don't know what time it is. There's no clock. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Why a hammer? Just so you know, the tap still doesn't work. Not a very good fixer, that one. What the heck? Why was he in the house again? Don't we lock doors? Oh, no, he'd be a homeowner. He'd have a key. Right? After locking the door, we debated on what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was really tired. I decided to get some rest. Yeah, it's... Look, it's like midnight. Go to bed. Why does it sound like there's a fire? It is still snowing. Oh. Are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk to you about something. It's, it's like midnight, bro. And it's heckin' dark. Like, I mean, like, like, compare. Like, no light, light. No light, creepy, light. Still creepy. Mike, what do you want? Mike, Mike. Mike, Mike. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hear, hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hate that Nora is out there all alone. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry, I'm here to keep you safe. Well, it, that's nice. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? Oh, dear. What? Wasn't exactly... How I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. 
I know. That was an oddly specifically placed time there. Can you believe that guy he just keeps wandering around the house like he owns a place? I I mean, yeah, he does kind of own the place. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the house. The guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. Uh, I don't know where the second one comes with, but yeah, I'm frustrated too. I, it, we both need to get some sleep, my man. Oh. I'm getting the come hither me stare as he leans casually on the bed. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Um. Sure, Mike. Can barely see your face now, but. Harp, you knew. I miss this. Us just talking, it's been too long. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Where is this coming from, or would you be doing this if Nora was here? I feel like in the early texts, Nora was a side-on, like, side-add-on to this whole thing. Um, because, like, they're three friends, so they were just texting, and, like, she invited herself to this thing. So, if she was here, would he still be having this one-on-one -on -one heart to heart? Probably not. So, how about, where is this coming from? Enlighten me. Enlighten me in my dark bedroom. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I do remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things just happened. Oh, those things happened. Uh-oh. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Oh. I don't know what to say. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. I, I, uh, don't say anything. Maybe. Uh oh. Let's see. We got uh, another message. I think I'm about seventy miles away from Woodbury, and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing, and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says. Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? SOS means someone help me. Uh, where did my flashlight go? Okay, I guess, uh, what timing? Guess we can't leave Nora stranded. We better get ready. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. Uh, are you sure that you should go alone? You just settle in and I'll get help. Thanks, Mike. That's really nice of you. I can tell you like doing nice things for me, actually. I've been very aware of it. Ugh. I guess just be careful. Uh, if you really feel like we have to talk about it, I guess we don't. Okay, you're gone. I couldn't go on to bed without locking the front door. Okay. Oh, and he's gone. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure it's safe? It's, it's not, but I've driven in worse. Okay. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right now. You're probably right about that, honestly. If I was stranded on the side of the road in a blizzard with, like, a pop tire, I'd be freaking out about it, too. Make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. Okay. Kind of need one. Uh, yeah, you can get a hug. 
Drive safe. Oh, you can really hear the wind. Oh, okay. Hold on. She be freezing. How is this? Is this locked? Until Mike and Nora arrived. Okay. Are you locked? Are you locked? Okay. Well, she's not yelling at me to do something else, so we'll just go get some sleep. Yay, peaceful sleep while your friends are all gone and you're in the house alone. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. I am not getting any rest. Like, none. What the heck? Okay, someone was at the front door. Thanks, exposition. The realization that someone was outside this late at night was horrific. Is that the freaking... Is that the guy? That's the hiker. The hitchhiker. Haha, you can't see me. Do you have any idea what time it is? I know what an ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. Yeah, so am I. I'm alone. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. Uh, you can sit on the porch. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside. No, 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 you no. I, uh, no. Should have known you'd be as much of a, as a bee. As you were at the pizza joint. Yeah, I knew you know who I was. Mm-hmm. Think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier. I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but looks like you're still... Unkind. Please just leave my... Yeah, I'm gonna call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Listen, everyone keeps saying that. I don't see your fella's truck out here. I'm dialing 911. Fine. Suit yourself. Okay, I'm just gonna not deal with that. Because, like. But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a biatch. Yeah, um, I'm going back to bed. I, I definitely stand by that decision of not letting some stranger in a house that I'm renting. Ah! What? What? I, at this point, I had no chance but to call for help. Uh, sorry to bother you. Please help. Banging on the door. Started threatening me. Can you please come look since you live so close? Okay. Ooh, that's not a call for help, though. That's a text message. That's like... When you call for help, you call, like, the police. Think we're all right? 
still okay. Okay. I we're just you know just go back to sleep. I don't think it'll let you. Um Mr. Landlord business whatever homeowner? Can't see from this angle. Well, despite how strange Rick had been, seeing him was a relief. I mean, after the day you've had. Open the door, miss. It's me. Okay. Why do you have the hammer? I'm so glad you came. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Oh. Why did you bring the hammer? Oh! You got really close to me. The guy who was with you earlier. Mike, he went to pick up my other friend? Huh. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but they're coming back. Why are you so close to me? What was that? And why did you do it? Why? Uh, oh, why the creepy look? Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Y yeah. Oh, you're so close to me. Y yep, everything's fine. Who are you talking to? My friends are almost here. There you go. Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. You can head back. Oh, yeah, I just overreacted. Uh, no, you can leave. This is my house, and I will leave when I want to. Uh... Before I call the cops, if anyone is leaving this house, it'll be one of us. Wait, what? What? What are you doing? What are you? No! 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 Where do I go? Where do? No! 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 Where do I go? Where do I go? No! 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 Where do I go? What do I do? I gotta hide. Must be. Where do I, basement or upstairs? Upstairs would require me to run by him. So I think the basement. Where is my flashlight? Because I can't see. Hold on. Oh, thank God. Heckin' dark, man. Um. Hi, Rick wannabe. Did you see anyone outside? Might as well try the different ones. Could have been anyone or no one at all. That's... Was a little roundabout. I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Yeah, just get up in my face, bro. Yep, there it is. Where's your friend? He went to find my friend. They'll be back soon. Let's just move it along. Let's get you creepy. Get you creeped out. Go creepily stand by the fire. Actually, if I stand like here, then when he runs to go through the door, I can just get into the basement. I, I'm gonna go to the basement because I have to run by him, I think. Um, the front door. And he's right there break doing something. I, I'm hitting the door. Bring out all kind of folks. Yeah. Here it comes. 
Yeah. Right up in my face. Who are you? We might as well just get right into it. This is my house. I will leave when I want to. What, what do you want? I want what's mine, this house, and you? You're trespassing. What? If anyone's leaving this house, it will be one of us. Okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. I don't know what he's doing up there, but just get in here. Turn that off. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, door, 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 it says, oh no, 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 broken, oh no, where do I go, where do I go, go in here, go in here, go in here. Oh, oh. Okay. Stop calling me. <coughs> oh good, there's no hearing thing here. He can't hear me. Hi, cat! All right, so he just ran away. He just ran away. I come back over. Da 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 da. Are you all right? Just got done talking to the other guests on the phone. I've called nine one one. Thank freaking god. Help! <laughs> no one helped me. Am I good? Am I good, cat? Am I home free? Okay. I don't know how long I have to sit in here for. I don't see him. All right. All right. Okay. I got happy music.
Mike, is that you? Oh, he broke the whole handle off. Well. I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my mind. My head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in the cabin when it wasn't being used. And planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like, and after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on, but in the end, he gave us a full refund. I guess in the end, you got a refund. And that was Fears to Fathom, the Woodbury Getaway. Oh, that one was good. I do. I really think there's something so scary about these games because, A, they're based on true stories. So they have that, that fear in the back of your mind that this could happen to anybody. In fact, you hear a lot of stories about people who rent houses and, and people who, who squat or when they're away, like, getting into those homes. So it's so terrifying to think, like, this is someone's account of something that happened and it's so realistic it it doesn't need um and i've said this before like these this game doesn't need a lot of fluff the false sense of security that it lures you into with the gentle music and the day-to-day -day life activities really get thrown when all of a sudden something bad happens or when these small little creepy things happen like the guy at, when we were at the pizza shop of uh, the hitchhiker it gives you these moments of like what and then you go back into that false sense of of normal security and then again like you get another like what and like you just keep going back and forth like this dichotomy of you're fine you might not be and that's what makes these games so good and i love them and i cannot wait to see what we've what happens next? I can't wait to see what he comes out with. Episode gonna be six. Oh, I loved it. And I hope you enjoyed it too. If you would like to play and try for yourself Woodbury Getaway or any of the Fears to Fathoms games, we will have a link down in the description for you. But either way, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more, everybody. That was Fears to Fathom Woodbury Getaway. And with that, I hope you have a safe night. <laughs>